If you would love to find out about the energies associated with this new moon in Aquarius partial solar eclipse, then stay tuned because I have some delicious goodness to help you out during this time. Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode. And if you are new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, helping you to vibrate on the frequency of love with angel guidance. Now we're in eclipse season at the moment, which is truly powerful energies. And this new moon eclipse that we're going through is gonna be kind of married through with the full moon in Leo uh, lunar eclipse that we had um, earlier in January. So these do kind of couple together and they feed off each other. So if you haven't already checked out the full moon um, in Leo lunar eclipse, I highly recommend that you do this after you've watched this reading. So are you ready to find out some delicious goodness? I hope you are. So by the way, this is a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly right for you. And I'm sure you'll have a good idea exactly what this reading means for you. Because by the end of this reading, something would have stuck into your head and that is your divine clarity. So without further ado, let's get cracking. This is the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. So we're just gonna take one card from this deck and just see what comes up. Okay, angels, what does my MK love whoa, fam need to know? Well, you got two cards that literally made their way really quick. Oh my gosh. So the first card is notice the signs. Okay, this is really beautiful because your angels can communicate with you in a number of ways. So that can be through song lyrics, that can be through numbers that you see, um, money on the ground, if you see feathers, all of that is divine messages. Your angels are trying to get your attention. So pay attention to exactly what those things are. That's beautiful. It says, yes, the signs that you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other songs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and you are never alone. Oh my God, that just clicked for me about all the things I've just been seeing. And then the other card is Cupid. So this is a matter to do with the heart. Now a new moon is a really beautiful time, even more so when it's um, with a partial solar eclipse because it makes it even more powerful. So new moons are the perfect time to reset your intentions. It's kind of like the reset button. Like you think of it like the end of a year, like New Year's Eve, it's kind of like that. So it's like we get 12 of them um, a year, which is incredible. So, this is amazing because this is a matter to do with the heart and I feel like that we had the Cupid card. Um, did we have that in the last reading? I'm not sure. I filmed so many readings I can't really keep track. So the Cupid card could literally be that this is a matter to do with the heart. This could be a brand new relationship. This could be an ending of a relationship. I don't really feel like it's an ending. I feel, well, it could be. All right, let me read this one to you. It says, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening the love for life itself. You clear Your clear decisions to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. I feel like for those of you that who have just left relationships, because there are a lot of you because you've been crying you heart out to me in my Instagram private messages saying that, you know, your relationships are ending. And I feel like this is a chance for you to like, um, to become this new beautiful butterfly that's just, it's just needing time to just, just nurture itself. And I feel like you're not at the butterfly. I feel like, well, maybe some of you are at the butterfly part because you've kind of like, I am where I am and it's okay. This relationship is not serving my highest good. I release you and I set myself free. And maybe the moment where you did that and you took that leap of faith. Ah, then I heard that song. Um, gotta keep the faith. Who sings that? Gotta keep the faith. No, you gotta keep. Bon Jovi? That's random. 
Yeah, what comes up for you when you see this one here? This could be the love for yourself as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be love for somebody else, but this is a matter in regarding the heart where your angels are saying, you know, love heals all blockages and we're sending so much love and abundance through to you so you can become this beautiful person that you know that you are destined to be. All right, I think I want another one from this deck. Well, well, the first card just... Oh my god, now we got the wedding card. Okay, so we got lovers in the end. Those of you that are coupled, your relationship's are about to take on a whole new level. Those of you that are single, oh my gosh, um, this is a really beautiful time. Oh my god, I'm feeling so good. Marriage is like a union of souls coming together in like. Um, in like mutual respect and commitment and like over time love develops so maybe some of you that are single may be meeting somebody and this love is going to develop on another level i feel like you guys are looking like when i see wedding i think of like long-term partnerships i'm not looking i'm not thinking about like you know a, spor a spor sporadic like one night stand i'm feeling like you are either looking for love or you're looking for that peace within yourself if you didn't have that in a relationship. Oh my goodness. All right, let's move along. This is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. So let's just get some further clarity. So love is in the air, basically. So one of what songs your angels are playing for you, like when you get in your car, what's the first song that comes on? Or if you um, randomly get on Spotify, what's the first thing that comes up? Pay attention to those, because that's like heaven sent. Okay, this is all about love. Oh my God. I feel so, I feel so happy for you guys. Whoa, well this one. Stay positive, it's coming. Stay positive. Whatever you are going through, it's divinely orchestrated. Um, today, I actually posted on Instagram. I'm filming this on Monday, by the way, which is like Monday the 5th of Feb. Um, so this morning, I posted on Instagram saying, it's a quote from Louise L. Hay, and it said, um, everything is working out for my highest good. Um, I trust the process. Hold on, let me just check my phone to see exactly what I said. Okay, so this morning I posted this on Instagram and the caption is, everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come, I am safe. I really love the part where it says, out of this situation, only good will come. Whether if you've just, your relationship has just ended, only good will come out of this out of this new chapter for you. If you have just met someone, only good will come. If you're already coupled, only like things are just gonna get better and better and better. So stay positive, my love, and just trust. If you're feeling any resistance in your vibration, then this is the perfect time to make your self-love practices a priority. Maybe instead of doing one self-love practice, when you wake up in the morning, by the way, if you're new and you have no idea what a self-love practice, it's just something that makes you feel good and download my free self-love starter kit because I teach you three strategies. Anyway, so I would choose maybe something that's a little bit more extra special during this time, especially if you're grieving and you're going through a difficult time. I just feel like you've found peace. I, I feel like calm and peace and centered and grounded. I feel like that's where you Either you're at now or that's what's to come when you continue to stay positive. Wow, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, just checking I'm still recording. Okay, what else do we need to know? Then I heard that song. Where do you, where do you go? My lovely, I wonder. Oh. Where do you go? What is, why would I hear that? I don't know, let's get clarity, I don't understand that one. Sometimes I don't understand things when they come up and then as I continue reading, like last re weekly reading, I get clarity as we continue. You just have to go with it. <laughs> what do we need to know? Well, okay, thanks very much. <gasps> Expect a miracle. There can be miracles. When you believe, 
Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for the miraculous intervention and healing energy which has restored the health of blah, blah, blah. Do we get divine intervention? Oh my gosh, I pulled divine intervention for somebody recently, but I don't know if it was for you guys. I think we, did we get, I'm pretty sure we did. Maybe I'm not. Okay, so this is beautiful. It's like everything's working out. As that quote that I read for you before, it, oh, I can't even remember it. Oh my gosh, my head's gone crazy today. I don't know what's up. What did it say? Out of this situation, only good will come which is expecting this beautiful miracle that has come into you. Oh, yes. It's like, it's like this miracle comes not from like, if you're like in a hospital setting, that's why I don't really like the hospital setting on this card, but like, can you see the doctors at the back and then the patient here and the angel's like, no, I'm gonna heal you. It's like, I surrendered to the process, I set myself free. This angel is full of green, which is the heart chakra which totally links in with the wedding card and the Cupid card. I think I'll pull another one of this one. What else do we need to know, angels, for this new moon in Aquarius partial solar eclipse? February like 15th or 16th, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so you have been reminded here that your diet is important. What are you doing to nourish and heal your body, your mind, and soul? The other card over here says, thank you for supporting my health. So health obviously is massive at the moment, so you need to be taking very good care for yourself. They're saying diet is important, so, which is crazy because I've been totally changing up my breakfast because normally like I love bread and I know bread doesn't really love me but I just love it um, so normally I would have like toast with like avocado and tomato and hummus for breakfast but recently I've been having smoothies again like back on the smoothie train which is crazy but I feel really really good um, so if you're eating a diet full of high vibrational foods aka like fruits and vegetables plants in their most natural and unprocessed state, then that's gonna, you're gonna take on the energies of that high vibration as if it's your own. It's gonna make you feel amazing. It's gonna make your skin look amazing. Your bowels are gonna move. You're gonna be doing like two to three bowel movements a day if you're eating high vibrational foods. Um, and it's gonna start to like cleanse your body out. When you're eating like animal products, you are you basically clogging up your digestion. Not only is it not good for yourself, for the animals and the planet, you're actually not allowing your body to perform as it possibly could. I won't say too much on that because I know I can rustle a couple of feathers on the people that are not vegan. But yeah, you know that fruits and veggie are good for you, so your angels are saying that this is something you need to pay particular attention to. But in saying that, this is a general reading, so just take from it what feels right for you. All right, this is a numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. So let's just get further clarity. So we've got the Cupid, notice the signs, wedding, stay positive, expect a miracle, and that diet is important. So there's not too many blockages here, it's just, being very mindful about the thoughts that you're thinking. What do we need to know, angels? What do my MK love them oh, need to know? Okay, so you got time out. You need to take a break. <laughs> okay, so this could be like um, getting in your car, driving to like a beautiful log cabin. I know one of you sent me, I, I think her name is Amy. Amy, you sent me that beautiful picture of your log cabin. Oh my God, I loved that. So, I feel like you just need to take a break. If that's even like time out as in like, if you have kids and just saying to your partner, um, can, you t can you get the kids ready for this morning? I just need to sleep in. It could be like, I'm gonna take myself out on a hot date because you know, everyone loves a good hot date for themselves. I call them like Mel dates. Um, <laughs> um, you could, you know, I feel like anywhere in nature is gonna be good for you. It's gonna raise your vibration and make you feel amazing. So what comes up when you see that? A little bit of time out for yourself. 
it's really important to just take time to just reflect and just and just be and not be so like um, stimulated by so much of what's going on around you. Okay, what else do we need to know? One more card and then we'll go into the tarot, okay? What do we need to know, angels? Oh, I feel like this one. Forgiveness. Okay, so this definitely relates to the last reading that I released about the weekly angel guidance from I think February the 5th to the 11th. So this is just before that time, but the angels are saying that forgiveness is still a massive part of your journey. And that, you know, you can say that you've like listened to my forgiveness heals guided visualization once. You're like, Mel, I've done it. Woo! It's like, okay, that is so good and I'm so proud of you, but you need to make that a continuous practice. You're not going to fully release somebody just in one take. You know, it's like if you just go for a run one day, you're not going to become an Olympic um, runner, you know. You have to, um, like I just see like flex the muscles. You have to train your brain to release this person and release every single inch of them because you don't want little, little cobwebs just hanging around in your vibration. You want to sweep that crap up. Get rid of anything that no longer serves you because you are amazing. You do not deserve to be holding on to things that, um, um, I see you like paddling against the stream, like being caught in a rip. You don't need that. And, and the way that you can get this beautiful like relationship and vibrating on the frequency of love and like all this beautiful miracle and stuff's gonna come. It's gonna come as soon as you do this. This is your work that you need to do. If you need help with that one and you haven't already purchased my Forgiveness Heals, click the link in the description and purchase my Forgiveness Heals. It is $9.99 Australian, um, that's Australian dollars by the way. And it's 30 minutes of your time that you could take like every week you spend 30 minutes on your forgiveness practice. Um, if you want to up that, then I would probably do it daily, but it's completely up to you. But your angels are saying, you need to forgive. I feel like this is forgiving yourself this time. I feel like we've been spending a lot of time forgiving other people, but I feel like this time we just need to step into our power and say, you know what, Mel, I forgive you for, for this, this, and this. And everything that you're going through it's okay because you are at the stage where you're saying like I love you so much and I know that sometimes these thoughts come into my head and I feel really crap because this person did that it's like no 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 you allowed them to do that to you so I forgive myself for allowing these people to treat me like that I forgive myself for feeling like a failure um, I know a lot of you um, not a lot of you. I get a couple of messages from people that are experiencing issues with fertility. Um, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. And just know that everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for you. Send love to everything that you have been through and release it. And it will set you free. Oh, I feel sad now with that one. Because that's like a, that's a tough one. But we need to do this during this massive time of the eclipse season so we can then power forward and just bloom and vibrate in the frequency of love to the person we know that we are destined to be. And you're getting there. I feel like you're getting there. Like you've got the bloody, these two cards. Like is that not enough for hope for you or what? Expect a miracle and stay positive. What the flip guys? That's amazing. But you just need to chill out. I feel like the timeout card, I feel like these two cards marry together as well. Haha, <laughs> marry together. We got the wedding card. Like, um, take that time out to, to heal yourself. If I was you, I would book like a weekend away just for yourself. I would pack like the most delicious food ever. I would pack your pajamas and not only pajamas because everyone loves pajamas. I'd bring your most favorite tea or coffee with you. Um, I'd bring a journal and I would meditate and I would just like just be in mother nature and just be like what does it sound like when you go outside have a look up at the stars at night and just breathe and just be and just I just feel like I feel like there's just so much going on in life and we can get so easily caught up and your angels are just like just chill I feel like that's where I want to leave it today I feel like I don't want to say anything else. I feel like that's kind of the message of today. It's just, just chill, just chill, just chill. And let's go back to that quote again, the quote of the day. <laughs> 
out, everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. That's from beautiful Louise L. Hay. Isn't she just beautiful? Like, who doesn't love Louise L. Hay? God rest her soul. Anyways, my love. I hope this is going to give you some clarity to help you move forward with the new moon in Aquarius, the total solar eclipse. It's a beautiful time. Please comment below and let me know what came up for you. If you're having trouble listening to your um, intuition during this time, then this is the perfect time and the most powerful time to book yourself a private spiritual reading so I can give you clarity and guidance on your own situation because this is just a general reading so you just take from it what feels right for you. Yeah, my loves. How amazing is that? Anyways, what I would love for you to do, can you also give me a thumbs up? Did you like this reading? If you did, thumb it up so I can know that, you know, this is something you want to see more of. And if you haven't already hit that little bell sign, I highly recommend that you do because it's going to notify you every single time I release a video. Anyways, my love, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I will see you next episode. I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!